he's disturbed by sound, he vibrates. One of the perks of being a scientist is that unlike the rest of us, you don't get in trouble for yelling at caterpillars. That's amazing. Field biologist Aaron Pomerantz came across this one in Peru and shouted at it. Lower frequencies. To which the caterpillar responded by unfurling strange tentacle-like structures called tubercles. And that's not normal. Well, I guess it is for the still poorly understood tentacle caterpillar. What's fairly clear though, is that this weird behavior is an anti-predator tactic. The caterpillar probably deploys the structures by pumping them full of hemolin, the arthropod equivalent of blood. If something like a bird swoops in on the caterpillar, the sound of those wing beats may just be enough to trip the tubercles. So how does the caterpillar hear the predators coming? Well, each of those tentacles is tipped with tiny hairs that may be picking up the vibrations associated with sounds. So they're like ears, very tentacly ears. And notice that those tips are bright white, which might serve to startle would-be predators. If that doesn't work and the fiend takes a bite of the tentacle, the structure may snap off, just like a lizard would lose its tail. This is certainly one of the world's most bizarre caterpillars, but others have different defenses, such as venomous spines. Caterpillars go through all of this trouble because there are few things as helpless as a sluggish tube of flesh. There's really no shortage of predators that have them on the menu. But why not just grow straight into a moth or butterfly? One reason why this may be evolutionarily beneficial is that the caterpillars and adults don't compete for the same resources, freeing up more food in the ecosystem. The downside? Well, every so often a scientist comes around and yells at you. Crazy tentacles! Oh my god! Oh!